Okay, so we went to the beach because Phoebe found out about this lady who knew her mom and dad. And then Ross's new girlfriend, Bonnie, shows up. And Rachel convinced her to shave her head. <laughs> and now Ross has to choose between Rachel and the bald girl. And... What? <laughs> Rachel and the bald girl? You know what? Hold on. Let me go get you. <laughs> it, it has to be Rachel. Hi. Oh, oh, no way. Rachel was just helping me out. My head got all sunburned. Who's who? Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. Oh, you're welcome, Amelia. <laughs> okay, I'll be in our room. Uh, oh. Oh, this is Rachel's room. It was. <laughs> oh, no. I know. <laughs> Why are you not telling her though? Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta go break up with Bonnie. There you go. Now? I'll stay here all night, and if I go in there, she's, yeah, she's there gonna you go, Ross. do stuff. Just tell her that you are not in the mood? No, she likes that. Because I woke up oh. with her. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. So she's into some freaky stuff. Got it. <laughs> it wasn't every morning. Oh, making it worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of cool to do like a recap. I'm assuming there's a long break between season three and four. Probably. Oh, <laughs> Just the three shots of people smacking each other's butt. So I guess you'd like to know how it all happened. Oh, well, I think I can figure it out. I guess, you know, I was born, and then everyone started lying their asses off. I mean, remember how I told you how Lily and Frank and I, we were, we were close? Well... We were, we were very close. Ooh. How close? Well, the, the oh. three of us, we were kind of a, um, a couple. Somehow I got pregnant and scared. I was stupid and selfish and... Oh, she gave... I was 18 me. years old. I mean, you remember what it was like to be 18 years old. Don't... My mom had killed herself and my dad had run off and I was living in a gremlin with a guy named Cindy who talked to his hand. Thought I was leaving you with the best parents in the world. I didn't even hear about your mom and dad till a couple of years ago and by then... You were already grown up. I would like to get to know you. Yeah, well, everybody does. And, you know, you had 29 years to find that out, but you didn't even try. You walked out on me, and I'm just, I'm gonna do the same to you. Wait, okay. I don't ever want to see you again. You know what, that's fair, though. I, where's my purse? <laughs> I mean, it's fair. I just, I was not expecting Phoebe to do that. I thought she was gonna want to talk to her. Oh, Chandler got a haircut. Boyfriend. How'd it go? My mom's friend Phoebe is actually my birth mom. I found a dried up seahorse. <laughs> Sweetie, what are you talking about? Oh, my new mom. Big fat abandoner. Stay here and talk about it? I'm just, I want to, I need to be alone. Monica. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's oh. over. Was it awful? Well, it was long. I didn't even realize how late it was till I noticed the five o'clock shadow on her head. Anyway, she didn't want to stay. She just left. I mean, you did the right thing, though. I wrote you a letter. Oh, Aww. thank you. I like mail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some things I've been thinking about, you know, things about us. Before you can even think about the two of us getting back together, I just need to know how you feel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. She wants like you to you, read it yeah. first. It's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that pretty late. late. So <laughs> I better get cracking. Well, I mean, how long is the letter? I'll be waiting for you. Just come up when you're It'll done. Be a minutes, okay. Right? Eighteen pages. Oh. <laughs> Front and back. God, how long was he breaking up with her? <laughs> is he funny and bad? Oh my God, Ross. He's a Aww. trooper, though. He tried. Honestly. <laughs> what happened to you? Why didn't you come up? Done. Oh, don't, don't, no, no. Just finished? What? Well, I wanted to be thorough. Clearly very, very important to you. This is going to come back later if he didn't actually read it. Word carefully. Yeah. Twice. Does it? Oh, that was in the letter. Oh, you're screwed. Sorry? Does it? That was probably the last part Does of the letters, it? too. I wanted to give that whole... Does it part just another glance? What are you talking about, Ross? You just said that you read it twice. Look, you know what? It either does or it doesn't. Uh, in fact, <laughs> decided that that it does. 
Oh, he said the wrong answer. <laughs> Because what if this means she wants to move in together or something? Yeah, like, I'm not even thinking it, about that. Oh. It could be something serious. <laughs> like, Would you go out with me? They're still at it, huh? Hey, you guys, take a look at this. Check this baby out. Dug me a hole. That, that's so what Joey would do. <laughs> like, oh. And there it goes. Oh, my hole! Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, it hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Oh, can we help you? I want to take you back to the house? Oh, it's like two miles! Yeah, and I'm a little tired from digging the hole. Yeah, you're supposed to do a certain activity with that. Um, One thing you can do. What? What is it? You're gonna have to pee on it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gross! It doesn't hurt that bad! <laughs> if you want some privacy, you can use my hole. <laughs> well, that sounded so wrong. Oh. Well, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Are you? Oh, that's so great! Ooh, not for Bonnie. How at the beach? Uh, Nothing. Sorry. I don't know. Oh, wait, who peed on her? I'm gonna take a shower. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Maybe it was both of them. I put this in the car. Oh, I took a pack. Oh, and it really does. It does. It really. Ross, well, what does that mean? Uh oh. Oh, he looks pissed. It so does not take responsibility for everything that went wrong in our relationship. About how I was unfaithful to her. We were on a break! Wait, but everything? Literally. More time, I'm gonna break up with you. <laughs> Breakup was not all my fault. If you accept full responsibility, I can begin to trust you again. Seem like something you can do? Does it? <laughs> He's so angry. Ross, you have what you want. You're back with Rachel. Oh, if you bring this just... up now, you're gonna wreck the- Yeah, but it's under false pretenses. Yeah, exactly. That's, this is like, a tough situation though. I... I think both of them were at fault in their own way. Like, it's not all one-sided. Sure, it's yeah. hard to forget. But that doesn't mean you have to talk about it. I mean, you don't. That's true. It's just about how much you'll eat up. Things happened on him. that trip that we should never, ever <laughs> talk about. <laughs> what, if, what if Chandler peed on Joey by accident? Oh my, no. <laughs> like, it's between us and the sea, Ross. <laughs> He's like, what? Are you really? Uh oh. Hi, Ursula. Oh, oh. let's talk about the mom. This, this other lady Did is our first mom. Right, okay, the one that lives in Montauk. <laughs> You know her? She no, knew. I um I read about her in Mom's suicide note. There, there was a suicide what? note? Hang on. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't tell me there was a suicide note. Goodbye, Phoebe and Ursula. I'll miss you. P.S. Your mom lives in Montauk. Is that really all it said? I just wrote this. <laughs> it's pretty much yeah. the gist. <laughs> God, I'm shocked she would not get access. Like, how does she not, not have access to that? <laughs> God, you can't even look at me, can you? Nope. <laughs> I'll give you a thousand dollars to talk to us. <laughs> hey, you guys, what do you what do you think about making that beach trip an annual thing? No. no. <laughs> all right, that's it, you guys. What happened out there? I came back with nothing all over me. Come on, what happened? Joey. Joey, we swore we'd never tell. They'll never understand. <laughs> I mean, they, they would understand. Would. It's a medical thing. You have to get it out. It's eating me alive. <laughs> Monica got stung by a jellyfish. All right. Stung bad. <laughs> I couldn't. You're scared and alone. What is this monologue? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like... I was in too much pain. And I was tired from digging the huge hole. <laughs> I'd seen this thing on the Discovery Channel. I saw that on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, about jellyfish and how if you... Uh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Ew. <laughs> you peed on yourself? I, mean, I thought I was going to pass out from the pain. I, but I, I couldn't bend that way. <laughs> so? <laughs> That's right, I stepped up. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. You Joey. tell him, Joey. I had to. I'd pee on any one of you. <laughs> Only, uh, I couldn't. I got the stage fright. <laughs> I wanted to help, but there was just too much pressure, so I just turned to Chandler. <laughs> Joey kept screaming at me, do it now, do it now! Late at night, I can still hear the screaming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's because sometimes I just do it through my wall to freak you out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the 66 colors of my bedroom. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I invite all of you to count the colors in your bedroom. You go away. <laughs> I just want to tell you that there hasn't been a day when I didn't regret giving you up. I just want you to know that I, the reason I never looked you up was because, well, I was afraid that you would react just, well, like the, the way you're reacting right now. And, but just one last thing. You know, you came looking for family. I'm family. I'm it. It's not like we know each other or anything or that we have anything in common. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not like we don't have anything in common. I mean, I like uh, pizza. I like pizza! <laughs> you? Oh, uh -huh. well, <laughs> you see? But I'm still, I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at me, too. All right, stop it. Now you're just doing it to freak me out. <laughs> I missed you, too. Gotta have that talk, Ross. <laughs> oh, so nervous about that letter. <laughs> but the way you owned up to everything, it just showed me how much you've grown. You have. You should give yourself credit. I mean, my mom never thought this would work out. She was all, once a cheater, always a cheater. Oh, but if time is what so you mad. needed just to gain a little perspective. <laughs> We're on the break! Oh, God. <laughs> people to break up this relationship. Yesterday, you took full responsibility. I didn't know what I was taking responsibility for. Fell asleep. You fell asleep? <laughs> Five in the morning. Rambled on 18 pages. <laughs> Front and back! No, I can't believe I even thought of getting back together with you. Oh, we are I'm... so over. Fine by me! No, you don't mean that. Spelling tips will come in handy when you're at home on Saturday nights playing Scrabble with Monica. Oh my god, how'd you bring her into this? Oh no, no, don't you worry about me falling asleep. I still have your letter! <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, it's not that common. It doesn't happen to every guy, and it is a big deal! Oh, I knew it! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! You know, if we were a couple, we could play this game naked. Would you stop? I think you're great. I think you're sweet. Oh, are they gonna get together? And I love you. But you will always be the guy who peed on me. Oh, oh, oh I come was on. going somewhere. I'm actually shocked though. Like that was funny, and like I cannot stop laughing. But at the same time, I'm actually just they really broke up like an episode after getting together. I'm just I'm so shocked by that. Like they can't really be broken up in a way, but Ross and Rachel's relationship is what's gonna be the glue that holds this show together. Like, it is. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna literally carry us through the boring parts, <laughs> if there are any, and it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna carry us through all the bad stuff. But I will say this, my favorite thing right now from that episode was probably Phoebe and her mom, just because, yeah, big moment with that whole thing. And yeah, in terms of emotional, I definitely think that was, but I just, I'm sorry, just that raw scene where he was like 18 pages front and back, just that, that lost me. Like, just the way he said front and back, he was just, uh... I love that. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Wow, that ripped. <laughs> oh no. How many times do I have to tell you? You turn and slide. You throw it out. I'm tired of having to get a tetanus shot every time I get dressed. Well, he made it for you guys. But I built this thing with my own hands. How about we how about we sell it? Aww. You're gonna have to tell them. Oh, oh my god! You know, the chick is so much bigger. But what if they just cut off that side? Hey, see, that one part. <laughs> Is this gonna be... <laughs> Is that really gonna be the ending of every single intro now? 
for for the next like twenty episodes. Okay, it's Chip. Yes. Who's Ooh. Chip? Oh, five, five, a new boyfriend? Five, three, two, three. Or potential boyfriend? Later. Chip! The guy who took Rachel to the prom? He is still so cute. Monica, you're so lucky. He's like the most popular guy in school. <laughs> and I know! Okay. Okay, goodbye. Oh my god, we just had the best conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Product report to read. It's like eight pages. I hope I don't fall asleep. It was 5.30 in the Why, morning. Why, did you write it? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Russ. Oh, Chip Matthews called. Wonder what he wants. I bet he sensed that I was ready to have sex with another guy. No. <laughs> ah, Rachel. Well, um, why don't you give him a call? No, wow. because what if he chooses her over me or Monica? <laughs> okay. <gasps> That's not um. a good idea. Are you sure you want to hear this? Oh, I'm sure. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, it's Rachel. Rachel Green. Yeah, um, <laughs> yes, you did. My roommate wrote it down. Monica Geller? Oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Ross. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> he called to ask out Monica. He's so savage. <laughs> that's that's got to be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ross just won that whole argument there. Drunk it, bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Now here's a question. Where'd you guys get the finest oak east of the Mississippi? Uh-uh. First you tell us where you got the prettiest lace in all the land. <laughs> I'm reading your ad. Looks good, huh? Fine Italian craftsmanship. What, you guys are selling the entertainment center? Why? I love that thing. You want it? Oh, no. no. $5,000? Oh. Are you oh insane? My. Hey, the ad alone costs 300 bucks. $50 for your best offer. What kind of profit is that? And you call yourself an accountant? No. It sucks because all they had to do was cut that one part off, and then they would have been fine. What do you do? I can't believe you don't know what I do for a living. I thought he was an accountant. It's, a, it's something in the office. Oh, there's a cat. Oh my god, no. Shoot, kitty. Oh my god. What? Nothing. Nothing. What? What's wrong? I just have this really strong feeling this cat is my mother. <laughs> you mean the mom you met in Montauk? This is the spirit of my mom, Lily, the one that killed herself. Are you sure she's in the cat? Or have you been taking your grandma's glaucoma medicine again? <laughs> oh my no, god. No, Dr. Skeptismo. OK, there's the feeling. <laughs> OK, and for another, how about the fact that she went into my guitar case, which is lined with orange felt? <laughs> Cats like fish. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this smile in 17 years. Dude, Phoebe's mom's got a huge pair. Let it go. <laughs> wow. When are you going to tell me that you're going out with Chip Matthews? Okay if I go out with Chip Matthews? No, it's not okay. Why? I can't believe you would want to after what he did to me. Oh, what did, what did he do? I couldn't find him for two hours. He was having sex with Amy Welsh. Oh. Come on, that was back in high school. How could that still bother you? I mean, why, of all people, do you have to go out with Chip? You went to one where you were popular. I wore a band uniform that you had to have specially made. You had to have that specially made? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point, Rachel. They told us that was for the mascot. That wow. Is so Back that then, is... I thought that I would never, ever get the chance to go out with a Chip Matthews. And the fat girl inside of me really wants to go. I, I owe her this. Go out with him. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Could you leave him somewhere and go have sex with another guy? I'll try. <laughs> well, at least that's the reason why. It's not that she's jealous. Well, there were a couple calls last night, but uh, I don't think any of them are going to work out. Yes, Joey has a very careful screening process. Apparently not everyone is qualified to own wood and nails. She keeps squirming and trying to get away. Just like when she was alive. Oh, don't say that, Phoebe. Phoebe, how long is your mom going to be with us? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess until she, you know, gets used to the fact that there's, you know, a new mom. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? No. <laughs> Okay, I have to return a call in the other room. I'm returning a call. Mom at the B-E-A-C-H. 
I just spelled the wrong word. Am I crazy? I think or she tried to say beach. Does mom remind anyone else of a cat? <laughs> Ross, don't start. Come on. I believe it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do. you're not going to suck me into this. Because you always have to be right. I do not always have to. Okay. <laughs> Jurassic Park could happen. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Pretty nice. You'll have to pardon my roommate. He wanted to marry this. We don't have 50 bucks, but would you be willing to trade for it? We got a canoe. We what? <laughs> you don't want the canoe? I really don't think we need a canoe. You gotta take the canoe. Why? All right, just... What's wrong with the canoe? <laughs> take the entertainment center. Throw the canoe away. But Joey wanted the canoe. I built that canoe. Yeah, he's like, Joey. Good for you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for you. <laughs> Joey knows his worth. I believe what I just found tacked up on a telephone pole. Looks kind of familiar. It's the cat, right? Also goes by the name Julio. Yeah. You guys, there's a little girl in Soho looking for this cat. I mean, a $200 reward split five ways. <laughs> Do we have to tell her? Yes, we have to tell her. Oh, but it's made her so happy. Yeah, but it's not her cat. Girl misses her cat. Crazy lady thinks her mother is in a cat. To go have dinner with my son. Can oh, I trust that when you see son. Phoebe, you will tell her? It's been a long time since we've heard from his son. I hate it when Ross is right. He is right, isn't he? You know what? I think this might be one of the times when he's wrong. You, what you think? think? Oh no, he's right. <laughs> hi, hi. Hey. hey. It's gonna break her heart, but it's not her cat. How's that going? Why they make, why are they make a Joey so do this? So great. Oh, uh, we took a nap together today. My mom fell asleep on my tummy and purred. That's so sweet. I'm gonna get some coffee. Okay. <laughs> Just Joey can't do it. I'd be scared too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Huh? What'd you say, Joe? I'll be right there. Jeebs. I just feel so... Oh, her I'm coming! Yeah, yeah, they can. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Hello, Chip. Hey, Rach, how you doing? I'm great, I'm great. Got a great job at Bloomingdale. Even though I'm not seeing anyone right now, I've really never felt better about myself. So, uh, Monica ready yet? Amy Welsh. Amy Welsh? Wow, I haven't seen her since. Yeah. So, Monica about ready? Tons of storage compartments, some big enough to fit a grown man. I got in there myself once. My roommate bet me five bucks that I couldn't handle and locked me in. <laughs> it was funny until I started feeling like I was in a coffin. <laughs> yeah. You can't fit in that thing. That's not deep enough. Oh, yeah? Don't Please do it, Joey. Please don't tell me he's gonna. It's off the price of the unit. All right, you have yourself a deal. No, he's gonna steal stuff in their apartment. Joey! Sometimes I come in here just to get away from it. Not the laptop. Hey, a nickel! <laughs> Joey, come on! Oh my god, you still have the chipper! You know what, a motorcycle is a chopper. And your chip. I think it's cute. A lipper from the chipper. <laughs> <laughs> so, you still in touch with anyone from high school? Um, there's Rachel. How about you? Oh, yeah, I still hang with Simmons and Zana. You know, I run into Goldie from time to time. Stick, Browns, all cough. Is that all? Ah, uh, you know, after high school, you just kind of lose touch. <laughs> yeah. Except for 50 to 20 people. Oh, how is he? Not so good. Me and Simmons gave him a wedgie. <laughs> yeah, so, I already see how that. Oh, my God! They took everything. <laughs> Joey, no. Are you all right? Ow. Yeah. Oh man, he promised he wouldn't take the chair. Oh, their chairs. What happened? How are you locked in there? Where the hell's all of our stuff? He said he didn't think it was big enough to fit a grown man. You got in voluntarily? I was trying <laughs> to make a sale. If I ever run into that guy again, you know what I'm gonna do? Bend over? <laughs> <laughs> that one rip. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's not mature enough for Monica. Not that I don't enjoy talking about people we went to high school with. 
because I do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, maybe we could talk about something else. I don't even know where you work. The movie theater used to come in all the time. He still works at the movie theater? He'll work at the multiplex? Well, I could give up that job. <laughs> well, there's I keep that. free posters for your room. Thanks, I'm set. Do you still live with your parents? Oh, yeah, but I can stay out as late as I want. <laughs> If that job would not be a problem if he lived by himself. I would be okay with it. Dave, the stereo? <laughs> oh, man, he took the five of spades! <laughs> Joey, who cares? Oh, my God, what happened? Joey was born, and then 28 years later, I was robbed! So how was your day? Tonight, I actually went out with Chip Matthews in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So, uh, what did the insurance company say? Oh, they said, uh, you don't have insurance here, so stop calling us. Oh, you have no insurance? <laughs> you didn't tell her? <sighs> I love how they left the dog. <laughs> they left the dog sculpture. This cat belongs to a little girl. All right, there are flyers all over the place. Mm hmm But, you know... She chose to find me. You have to respect her decision, right? No. No, no. That's a good call. Yeah, yeah. That would, that's no. right. No. no, no. Look, hey, enough is enough. Look, I am sorry that you feel guilty or whatever about spending time with your new mom, but this is not your old mom. Not mom. Cat. Yeah, you, you did not have to be that hard, Ross. Ooh, Ross, ooh. how many parents have you lost? Okay, then you don't know what it feels like when one of them comes back. I believe this is my mother. Even if I'm wrong, who cares? Just be a friend, okay? Be supportive. You need to take the cat to its rightful owner, though. What about the owner? I'm sorry. Okay. You could say you're sorry to her mom. <laughs> Rachel, stop it. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I think she would like that. <laughs> come here, here, come here, come here. Mrs. Buffet. <laughs> it was insensitive of me to say that you were just a cat. <laughs> you are also the reincarnated spirit yep. <laughs> yeah. of my friend's mother. We both forgive you. Uh, Can you please take it back to its owner, though, seriously? Literally, we do have to do that. Mom, I hope you know that you still mean a lot to me. And you're welcome to come back anytime. If she could come back as a couch, we'd really appreciate it. You know, I got an extra futon. Dude, you don't have to brag. We got nothing here. He was saying for you to use. <laughs> Joey. You got you gotta love how Joey's brain oh, wait. works. Who's Dorothy Kaufman? Yeah. <laughs> That's the canoe. <laughs> It is a nice canoe, though. Just the difference in their faces, though. Joey's, like, looking off into the sunset or something, and Chandler's like, I hate this. I love how the other paddle's over there. Trigger, oh my god. All this cool stuff from the basement. Wait right there. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm paddling away. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is, there is furniture, at least. Got all this rusty crap for free? <laughs> this and a bunch of bubble wrap. <laughs> they left the duck in the... Okay. Be more white trash. <laughs> <laughs>
doing here? <laughs> yeah, okay, Joey, okay, okay. I don't understand. Last time you went out with her, you said she was a big doll dud. This time, we were able to take the relationship to the next level. You must end it now. Oh, come on. It's not like this is an everyday occurrence for me. I mean, usually I'm pretty much just in there by myself. <laughs> oh, my, Joey. <laughs> Trust me, you will end it. I promise I'll end it. I hope you know what I'm giving up for you, because she's not just the boss in your office. You know what oh. I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I knew what he meant. How's the hired help? <laughs> Doing great. Keisha's are coming along. What's this? Blue nail polish? Huh? Ah, it's what your grandmother's hands looked like when we found her. Why did you hire me? Oh, well, Richard raved about the food at his party. Of course, he was sleeping with him. But that lesbian wedding was very nice. We weren't sleeping with anyone there. So at least that would be something. He hired me because she thinks I'm good. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, okay, that's what you got from that? She didn't hire me out of... I mean, yeah, but she's just, she's so rude in the way she talks. Actually thinks I'm good. I guess in her way. I need, to, I need to see her and Leonard from Big Bang Theory's mom just in the same room. <laughs> good afternoon. Are you the decision maker of the house? Uh... How, where do I know this guy? <laughs> do you uh, currently own a set of encyclopedias? No, no, but uh, try the classifieds. People sell everything in there. I'm selling. Friends ever have a conversation and you just nod along even though you're not really sure what they're talking about? <laughs> telling you, it's totally unconstitutional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally right. agree it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobel Prize. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Joey. I'm sorry. You haven't said anything for about two and a half minutes. Are you? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on in. Come on. Your nails. Oh, I know. I never wear fake ones. I just did it so my mom wouldn't give me grief about biting them. Weird, they only have nine now. Oh. oh, it went inside the food. Oh, my God. I had him when I put... Oh, my God, it's in the quiche. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to get you another set of nails. No one's going to know. And you're... That's not the problem. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's yeah. gonna eat. That's the problem. Okay, uh, please don't freak out. There's a blue fingernail in, in one of the quiche cups. Whoever finds it wins the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's nothing. It's just that now your father owes me five dollars. <laughs> wow. Is a nail? No, well, then you'd be I just messing up. I these. Frozen lasagna? It's all that stuff about hiring me because I was good. That was all true. This was just in case you pulled a Monica. You promised Dr. Weinberg you'd never use that phrase. You're never able to laugh at yourself. That's right. It's because you do it for her. My mom doesn't have any faith in me. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that's the point, Phoebe. <laughs> no, you have lasagnas. The ruined quiches are ready. <laughs> I feel like we're breaking up. No, we are. I'm sad. Okay. Unbelievable. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, that was my boss. I have to go. What are you doing? I'm getting dressed. Why? When I walk outside naked, people throw garbage at me. Just a little yeah. gag gift somebody gave me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You're not the boss of me. Why are you doing that? Yeah, you are. No. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, but if you don't come back soon, there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. That is... This is... Be oh, my God, and she locked the door. Brought you back a macaroon. Oh, great. I'll keep it in my butt with your nose. <laughs> That's weird, she locked the door. You know why? She's got the Christmas bonus list in there. I saw her working on it this morning. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Mark left, he gave me a key to Joanna's office. <laughs> huh? Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and she didn't think to help him? <laughs> but I may be a little while longer. How little? A couple hours. I feel awful. Look, this my isn't God. You get back here right now. I'm in my boss's car. What? Uh-oh, tunnel. 
<laughs> Rachel, come on, help him. What? Rachel, could I see you for a moment? <laughs> okay, here's the situation. The keys to the cuffs are on the back of the door. Could you be a doll and grab them and scoot on over here and unlock me? That is a lovely pantsuit. <laughs> Promised you would break up with her. I did break up with her. She just took it really, really well. Jeopardizing my career never entered your mind. It did enter my mind. Then something happened, shoot right out. You know what, Chandler? You got yourself into those cuffs. Oh, you're not gonna help. I can't get myself right out of them. You must have me confused with the amazing Chandler. Come on, you have to unlock me. She could be gone for hours and I'm cold and... All right, this is it. You never see Joanna again. You never come into this office again. Fine. Give me back my Walkman. I... Oh, you took that? <laughs> I never borrowed your Walkman. Well, then I lost it. You buy me one. <laughs> this is great. Ah. Oh. Hello, sweet pants. <gasps> Wait a minute. What are you going to tell Joanna? She's that you're gone. She's going to know that I let you out and that I was in here and I'm going to get fired. Ooh. I'll make something up. Good at lying. I actually did borrow your Walkman. Back the way you were. I don't think so. No. 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 Oh my, oh. Well, this is much better. <laughs> There's somebody interesting, Joey. What do you know about What is Van happening Gogh? here? I don't know. He cut off his ear. I thought he cut off his ear because he sucked. <laughs> but what, what else you got in there? Where does the Pope live? In the woods. Actually, it's Vatican City. <laughs> <laughs> You need these books. Oh, he's trying to sell him the book. Here I thought this guy was like a freaking furniture salesman. Yeah. Oh, you must have been in really good shape as a kid. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Who cares what your mom thinks? So you pulled a Monica. Oh, baby, you don't have to say it. Glad that's catching on. You know, go down there and prove your mother wrong. You finished the job you were hired to do, and we'll call that pulling a Monica. Or a fireman saves a baby, and they go, yeah, no, he pulled a Monica. <laughs> <laughs> or someone hits a home run, and the announcer says, yeah, that one's out of here. Because <laughs> some things don't change. But I'm not going to serve the lasagna. I'm going to serve something that I make. Ooh. Yeah, Phoebe, don't do it. Wow. Ooh. Oh, my breasts are really strong. Oh, dang, Phoebe. <laughs> dang. I thought she was going to break the machine for a second. Oh my god, we're still going at it. I have to get you locked up back the way you were. I'm so He can just say he got job. out. But she's very private about her office. Instead of the chair, she's going to know you were in here. Let me go. What if I clean your bathroom for a month? Still wouldn't be clean. <laughs> all I want is my freedom. I'll take all of your photos and I'll put them into photo albums. Freedom! I want my freedom! Why won't you hear me? Sophie, help me! Help me! Oh. Sophie, sit! <laughs> Poor Sophie. Oh my god! Oh, come on, you gotta let him out. I'm gonna say this for the last time. Would you please just. Oh! Oh, oh that hurt my head. Yeah. That was that a was lot. Hard. <laughs> oh, dang. So, what do you say, Joey? You get the whole set of encyclopedias for 12. He just got robbed. He can't afford that. Just 50 bucks a book. $1,200? You think I have $1,200? Patio furniture in my living room. I guess there's a few things you don't get from book learning. How about zero down and zero a month for a long, long time? What? <laughs> Anything. Movie stub, keys, a Kleenex, an army man. Hey. <laughs> OK, I, I get the picture. Uh, thanks for your time. And a 50. These must be Chandler's pants. One book. What'll it be? Uh, a? B? C? Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the V. Uh, we'll buy and wrap all of your Christmas gifts. No. I'll squeeze you fresh orange juice every morning. With extra pulp? Yeah. No. <laughs> he got her hopes up and everything. I've got it. There's gonna be rumors about this. There's no way to stop it. Sophie knows. Monica and Phoebe know. How do Monica and Phoebe know? Oh, I called them. Very generous. <laughs> Oh. Or very stingy. Come on. <laughs> That's horrible. I can make you this generation's Milton Berle. <laughs>
They're not even touching the lasagna. Really? Oh, they love your casserole. Yes! <laughs> Just a little while ago, this was nothing but ingredients. Everyone seems to like your dish. And you? I thought it was quite tasty. That would make this a success, which would make you a bitch. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. Yes, well, I was wrong. You really impressed me today. Um, you might even say that she pulled a Monica. <laughs> the next time you cater for me, there'll be nothing but ice in the freezer. Oh, it really means a lot. And Mom, don't bite your nails. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Hello, Chandler. <laughs> I love you. No, he doesn't. <laughs> God. Dang, yeah. So did you break up with Joanna? I think so. Now, it's a good thing you got out when you did, before she blew up like that Vesuvius. Man, are they a violent igneous rock formation. <laughs> Look at Joey learning some stuff. Of course, some are dormant. Right, Mom, why are you talking about volcanoes all of a sudden? Are you going to talk about something else? Well, what do you want to talk about? Anything with Vivisection? Me. Yeah. The vast difference. <laughs> the Vietnam War. Anybody see that, that documentary on the Korean War? <laughs> no, that's not me. <laughs> oh, no. Beautiful country. Joey. That's such a sad history. <laughs> oh, boy, Joey. Why can't he <laughs> stuck on B? He tried so hard. It's me. Good morning. Rachel, could you come in here a moment, please? Oh, does she know? Oh, my word. Oh. It's like office mishap. Could you please get the key off the back of the door for me? Yeah. Did Chandler lock her? You can tell your friend Chandler that we're definitely broken up this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that works out. Okay, buddy. So that's the end of Cody and I watching Friends season four, episode one, two, and three for the first time. I, I love the first episode probably the most. And I would say just they had the most kind of just drama impact on just the whole entire show. Ross and Rachel, I, I did not expect that to go how it did. Like, based on the end of season three, I really thought they were actually going to be together for a while, at least this time. I knew they might break, I, I knew they might have broken up, like, in the future, but I really thought they were going to be together for a lot longer than they actually were. But, I mean, I, I gotta admit, it did give me probably one of the funniest just Ross moments. Like, I, I don't think I've ever laughed that hard with Ross, but I thought that whole scene, he was just so funny when he was so mad at her. Obviously, just, well, I know some people are going to get upset just from my opinion. I do not think Ross should take full accountability. I think Cody and I kind of are on the same page about that. I, I think it's, you know, both of them, even if one of them it's more than the other, just they are both at fault for the breakup. But, yeah, yeah I, I don't know if they're ever going to get together, like, soon. It might be a while until they do, but Phoebe and her mom... Great stuff over there. I loved all that. I, I think Cody probably liked it a little more than me, but just the cat thing with Phoebe, it, it was a good storyline, but I gotta be honest, just once again, for me, those types of storylines with like her in the um, witchcraft type stuff, the reincarnation stuff, just some of it is just a little bit too much for me at times, but it's still funny overall. There were funny moments with the cat stuff, but just it, sometimes I feel like that stuff may go a little bit too far for my liking, but once again, all three episodes were still really great. Just had to point that out, but Cody, what'd you think about that? I think episode one was probably the best one for me. Um, it was it was clarification on what happened at the end of season three. Um, and then I did get the way that, because we talked about this in the last episode of how I would have wanted Ross to go to Rachel. Um, yeah, where he yeah. had to break up with her first. And I am glad that he did do that, that it wasn't just, oh, my uh, my impulses are giving in. Like, he was like, no, I gotta, I gotta go talk to her first. Like, I respect him more for that because he did know that that was the right thing to do, which actually brings up my next point with the whole blaming thing because if he did that for the girl he was dating before going with Rachel, that would kind of give you a character development for Ross that he wouldn't just plain out cheat, you know what I mean? Unless he really, you know, I don't think he would cheat to begin with, especially not, it, it shows that he really did think they were on a break, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, And exactly. not like an actual, you know, thing. Um, so it, it's like, it doesn't matter who it is. It could be anybody, really. It doesn't even have to be a character. It could be regular people in the world. But like, everybody in circum certain circumstances is at fault for breakups. It's never just one person all the way but i think the funniest part with ross in this couple of episodes 
was when Rachel called Chip. <laughs> and he's he's sitting there waiting to hear what he's going to say and everything. And yeah, then yeah. he just, he basically rubs it in her face. It's kind of funny, just the way that he did that. Ross kind of was a little bit of a savage in these last couple episodes. Oh, yeah. He kind of had... He, he, <laughs> he, he, he didn't hold anything back, and it's kind of like... It <laughs> comes from a place of hurt, but it was funny because of the way he did it. I would like to see more of Phoebe and her her birth mother um, throughout the rest of the show, if I can. Even if I get, like, one or two episodes a season, at least I can see that they did some sort of progress because then it means that that buildup wasn't for nothing. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, I do enjoy the fact that she did allow her to somewhat build a connection by going to get get dinner or something. Honest, honestly, I feel like just, for me at least, just these past few episodes, the comedy was probably some of the strongest like it's been in the show for me at least. Like the Joey plot line, that there were so many moments of Joey I just thought was so funny in these past episodes, and then Ross being just so savage and actually just being... Like, the, I think this is one of the first times that the comedy overpowered the emotional impact. Because when Ross and Rachel were waking up, I was just laughing so much. Because I just cannot help myself with Ross and everything. Just, I, I'm surprised <laughs> that show took that turn with me. I did not expect that. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to these past three episodes. And we will see you guys in the next three episodes.